Hey, Adrian, uh, a little something talking about uh, crowd noise, you know, because it was different. You guys played in front of a crowd versus last year where you didn't. Was there any communication issues at all? Was it hard dealing or adjusting to having all that noise where you didn't last year? I wouldn't say so. I, I think with the group of guys we have, we're, uh, we, we know crowd noise or not, communication is a big deal, so we emphasize that, and we haven't had any issues. Looking back on Saturday's film, how do you think you played overall? Uh, pretty solid. You know, there's always a few things I wish I could have back, uh, a few uh, miscommunications, and uh, we're getting those cleaned up. That's part of the game, and I'm glad we put them on film so we can get them fixed. It's always better uh, after a win, right? Your uh, early impression of you been able to study Buffalo at all? What, what do you what do you kind of think of what they show on defense? Yeah, yeah. We're, well, they're an athletic, talented group, and um, they're going to be ready to play. They played a really good, uh, solid first game. Uh, obviously, put up a lot of points on on Wagner, I believe, uh, and they're going to come in here and, and challenge us. So we have to be ready to go. I know you guys are prepping for every game like it's a big game, but is it easy now in college football to realize that the gap between so-called halves, you know, the power fives and those that aren't is, is, is lessened. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you saw the – it was a great week of college football last week, and you saw Montana beat Washington, and you saw schools from FCS to, um, you know, non-power five schools. I mean, it's uh, – like you alluded to, it's, it's more of a level playing field now than ever, and uh, anyone can beat anyone on any given Saturday, so you have to be ready to go. What did you notice about maybe the knowledge level that Samari and Marquise had when they came here? They played at other schools for three, four years. What did you learn? What did you notice about how much they knew about the collegiate game? Yeah, well, um, it definitely helps in that transition to understanding the, the playbook, uh, knowing how to play football, knowing what it's like to play big-time college football. Um, there's definitely an element to that that I think has helped their transition and, and made them able to play right away. How much are you able to watch other games? I mean, is that something you do or do you, do you want to stay away from it? Or how do you work that? Yeah, um, <laughs> it depends. It all depends. You know, if maybe if we're coming off a tough loss, I don't necessarily want to go watch football right away. You know, I might take a break and then watch it at night. But I love the game. I love college football. I love NFL. Um, so, you know, when Minnesota and Ohio State was playing, I was watching that game. And, uh, it's fun. It's what it's about. So I try. Uh, it's not like I sit down and probably watch an entire day on Saturday. You know, I have my own game, have my own things uh, to focus on. So. What did you think of how Logan played on Saturday? Uh, it was awesome. Awesome getting to see him get out there and, and just enjoy playing the game. Uh, thought he made some really nice decisions, and I know he was happy. Happy that he got to go out there and showcase his skills a little bit. Well, why is that important for him? What, what reasons? Yeah, well, um, you know, as opposed to, you know, someday say he gets his first start and, you know, that's the first time he ever gets in a college game. I think just getting his feet under him a little bit and seeing what it's like playing in front of Memorial and um, having that type of environment, uh, I think it's big for a young guy and just a little confidence boost as well. Uh, a little assurance goes comes along with that. Do you have any feedback for him afterward? Yeah, yeah. of course, but, you know, nothing I have to share with you guys, so. <laughs> Adrian, they gave some tickets to, to some younger kids who don't necessarily always get to go to Husker games. Did you get to meet any of, of them? And yeah, you know? I, I got to talk with um, with some of the kids that were a part of the road race uh, the day before. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of noise made about, you know, the, the sellout streak and uh, the amount of fans that were going to be in the stands. And you can focus on that side or there's the other side where, man, what an opportunity some of these kids who have never been able to come to a game got. After the game, I got to take a picture with the Boys and Girls Club of Lincoln. Um, <laughs> you could just see the joy on their faces, you know, how much it meant to them to be there. They had never experienced anything like that. Uh, and I'm, I'm just blessed to be in the position that I'm in to have that sort of impact. It was, it was amazing, and I hope they enjoyed it. And I know there were countless other kids who got that first opportunity on Saturday, and it's something uh, something to cherish, something that's special. What kind of seeds is that plant, do you think, some of these kids? Yeah, well, 
maybe for some of them it gives them a goal, something to shoot for, something to aspire to. Um, and hopefully myself and the other teammates uh, were good examples of what young men should look like and uh, how they should act. Um, you know, maybe they didn't know that was something that was attainable for them. And they're getting to see that on full display uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska. So pretty cool stuff. Adrian, what, we talked about the running game and how beneficial it is when it's working, how beneficial it is for you in the passing. But uh, how, if you can explain to the average fan, like, why is that so important? Yeah. Um, well, it's huge. It's, I'd say it's the foundation of, of our offense, of, of most offenses. Um, you get the run game going, the defense, you're, you're no longer as predictable. You know, get the defense on their toes a little bit. They have to defend the run. Um, and it's it's big for our alignment, big for pass, uh, pass rush. Um, it's, it's really, it's monumental for the entire offense. How do you think a step plate on Saturday? I was, yeah. and, and how good is it to have a, a, a workhorse back? A hundred percent, yeah. And, you know, someone else had asked it earlier, but he has experience playing in college football and um, getting his feet under him here at Nebraska. I think it was big for him this last game. And it's huge for our backfield to have a, uh, a guy who can take a lot of carries, but I know there are other guys in that room as well who, who will be ready if needed. Are you guys going to wear the uh, alternate uniforms this week? What are your thoughts on the jerseys you'll be wearing? Uh, could you repeat the last part? What, is, what do you think of the jerseys you guys are going to be wearing? Uh, they're sweet. I mean, did you see Damian Jackson, his little video? I mean, that's it's awesome. I'm excited about it. Anytime we get a chance to wear alternates, it's a pretty cool deal for us. So have to make the most of it and, and win the game. That's what it's really about. Adrian, you're obviously so young, but you know, 20 years ago, 9-11, what, what, what kind of impact does it have on not just you, but your generation? Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people in this room live through it, but what, what about, what was the impact on you? Yeah, um, just for reference, I was, I was born in 2000. So uh, hopefully that makes some of you guys feel old. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but, but yeah, it's, uh, it's an important part of our culture important part of our culture and something that we grow up in schools with um, every year and, and something we'll never forget. I got the chance to visit New York and visit the Twin Towers, the memorial, um, which is very special for me. And it's, it's huge. And they have, I mean, just thousands of names across that, that structure there. And it's, uh, it's a big part of America, you know, and um, I'm thankful we get to represent in some form and uh, hopefully make those proud that served. You said on Saturday you were more calm than the week prior. What's the key for you to find that feeling each week? Yeah, and um, searching for that and, and, and I've found it. You know, it's the key for me is just continuing to to study in the film room and, and trust my teammates is the big thing. Trust that they're going to do their jobs and I have a job to do myself. Why is the film, why is the film room? Um, makes things a little less uh, I mean the defense is going to do what they're going to do you can't necessarily predict always what they're going to be in but it makes things a little more predictable on my end um, and you strive it is the quarterback position is a bit of a thinking position but you don't want to think too much right so taking a little bit of that equation out of it and, and things becoming uh, easier on that end when you spend more time in the film room what do you think of how the uh, offensive line is gelling the yeah, uh, I feel really good about that room right now and the culture that they're setting, um, continuing to build. You know, it's an, it's an ever-going process, and that group's only getting better.